What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next example on the exponential functions unit test. This is an application type of question. So we're told that there are 600 grams of cobalt 60 in a sample and that cobalt 60 has a half-life of 11 days. And then given that information, we got to answer parts A, B, and C. So notice that in part A, they are asking us to make an equation to represent the amount of cobalt 60 after x number of days. So notice that we are given the variable, right? So x is basically going to be the number of days. And from the lecture videos, when we did questions like this, which I'm assuming that you've watched, we know that for a half life, our general equation is going to be the final amount equals the initial amount. We're going to have a half as the base, the number of the time period, which actually is x. Sometimes you'll see it as t. And over here, we have the half-life like that. Okay, and if it's like a doubling question, then this base here is going to be two, or if it's a tripling question, it's going to be three. In this case, it's a half-life question. So that base of this exponential function is going to be a half. Now, we are given the initial amount, right? We start with 600 grams. We got a half right here. And then x, the number of days is going to be the variable, and then the half-life is given as 11 days. So that's going to be the general function that we're going to be dealing with for the rest of the question in parts B and C. And in part B, what they're asking us for is what is going to be the amount of cobalt that's going to remain after 80 days, right? So what we're going to be doing is plugging in simply 80 for x. So we're going to do f of 80. I'm just going to keep it as f final amount or the amount remaining is going to be 600 times 1 half, 80 over 11, like that. Then from here, you just want to make sure you do your bed mass operation. So you would do the 80 divided by 11 first. You get 7.2727. Then you would take 1 half or 0 0.5. You could write in your calculator to the power of that. You would get this bracket right here. Try not to round to too many decimal places. Multiply it by 600 and you get 3.88. Grams. So that's the amount of cobalt 60 that's going to remain after 80 days if we start with an initial amount of 600 grams. So that is the answer for part B. Now in part C what they're asking us for is they're asking how long is it going to take for the cobalt to decay to an amount of 500. Okay, so now we're going backwards here. So basically, they're giving us the final amount, 500. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this here as 0 0.5 because there's just going to be some algebra, more algebra here to do this. So I'm going to keep this in decimals. And then this is going to be uh, x over 11. And what we have to do is we have to basically solve for this x value. So the first thing we want to do is we want to bring the 600 over and the way to do that is we would have to divide both sides by 600. So then the 600s here would cancel out. 500 divided by 600, that gives us approximately 0 0.8333, repeating. I'll round it to four decimal places. And then we got 0 0.5 to the power of x over 11. Now, I've mentioned this in the lecture videos. Whenever you're solving for a variable, in the exponent, if you want to be able to get that quickly, you could use logarithms, which is a grade 12 concept, but your teacher may have gone through it. Now, in general, what happens is, let's say that we have like n is equal to m to the power of x, like that. And we're trying to get this x value right here by itself. What we would do is we would, and you know what, so you're not getting confused with this x, I'm just going to actually put a different uh, letter, let's put, I don't know, let's put a y right here, right? So if you have an equation like this and you're trying to get the y by itself, the y value is basically going to equal the log of this value divided by log of the base, which is n, like that. And that's how you can get that exponent by itself. Now. In this particular case, if we were to use this, notice that the n is the 0 0.833, 
right? And then the M, the base, is the 0 0.5. And then notice the Y exponent. This is why I wanted to use a different variable so you're not getting confused here. This whole exponent Y is this whole exponent X over 11, like that. Okay, so when you use this uh, rule here, you're going to be isolating for that entire exponent. So basically, your next line is going to be the exponent, which is the x over 11, is going to be the log of the n value, which is the 0 0.8333 over log of the base, which is 0 0.5 like that. And then these are just numbers here. And so from here, you just have an equation to solve. And so if you plug this right side into your calculator, log of 0 0.8333 over log of 0 0.5, you would get 0 0.263. That's going to be over 11. And then I mean, we could just cross multiply from here. So x is going to be 11 times 0.263 like that. And then what would happen is you would end up getting 2.89. All right, so it basically takes 2.89 days for 600 grams of cobalt 60 to decay to 500. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.